hey guys and welcome back to pixel cherry ninjas channel so as we begin this video guys i did a community post and i put out a tweet yesterday saying that well if all goes well tomorrow and so far everything has gone well we'll be having a look at a work in progress call for the unlock pocket and you guys chucked your guesses in there and some of them were just wild right like a playstation 5 core original xbox some of them were quite realistic like maybe pgm sega system 18 and someone actually guessed this right it may have been more than one but one person said it, it's going to be neo geo pocket color or, or msx well congratulations to you give yourself a pat on the back it is msx so uh before we begin the video guys i have to send a massive shout out to boogerman uh aka marcus jordan good friend awesome guy and he sorted me out with this work in progress that i can do a video on and bring forward to you guys um guys this is this series is awesome you know when you're kids and i was being naughty i remember going to bed and, and my mother and my father telling me about the booger man the booger man's gonna come and get you well you know what the booger man has finally gotten me and you know what it wasn't like my parents described i've only received goodness from booger man uh, also before we get in the video guys i want to take this occasion to kind of thank vampire who i know is really really into msx and he gave me some recommendation for the games and also i want to say uh, there's a lot of games on this system so what i intend to do is um as soon as i finish like my next spout of work so maybe thursday or friday i'll be doing a live stream where you can we can have a look at this call we can go through it you can request your games you can have all your nostalgia kick now i don't know much about this system but what's crazy is i get a lot of nostalgia from this only because it it reminds me of the time where i was playing stuff uh, on my Atari 800 XL, the Commodore 64. I never really owned the Spectrum until much, much, much later, uh, but I did play Spectrum around the friends. It was very popular here in the UK. But guys, the MSX just reminds me of, you know, that era of computer games, but with a Japanese touch. Now, the MSX was very, very popular in Japan. It sold like 9 million units worldwide. 7 million of those were in Japan. From what I understand, Microsoft had some involvement in there, but I'm not going to go over the history uh, of, the, of this computer, right? There's plenty of stuff on Wikipedia and i know there's a there's a big fan base for this or maybe not a massive fan base but there is a fan base for this now honestly i'm so ignorant to the system i was looking for stuff like metal gear a castlevania game but unfortunately they were for the msx2 this is the mx msx1 core so guys let's have a look at a few more games this one here if i haven't mentioned it is the fairyland story i, I kind of recall this because i know hotego is working on the arcade version of this or bringing an arcade core this so i thought it was a good thing to check out so if you're not subscribed to the channel uh then yeah man it's subscription and a like is always super duper appreciated let's have a look at some msx games and an arcade game that we looked uh, at a little while ago, right? This is something that Anton Gale released, and that was the Tato System SJ. And one of the games on there was Elevator Action. And since I don't know much about this system, when I'm going through the games list, I'm looking at games that I'm familiar with. Uh, so this was Elevator Action. And guys, it looks very, very true to the original arcade version. I'm sure the colors and everything are different. Remember, I always tell you guys that I am colorblind, so I'm, I'm, I'm not the best for colors. I also want to say, guys, that that uh, if uh, if Marcus Jordan, aka Boogerman, does have like a Kofi, or a patron or anything like that i haven't got that at the moment but if he does make one uh, check the description of the video if you do want to support his work and he's got one available then it will be in the description but again elevator action is fun and this is one thing about this system guys like i would have had love to have this i mean there's a lot of awesome games on this uh and when we go back to that kind of time like around that time these would have been the pinnacle of like arcade games on a home computer right i mean look at looking at these now you may not get some nostalgia for it i'm definitely getting nostalgia even i've never played it it just it's taking me back to those simpler times and guys there's a lot of good games on here like you'll see but yeah if ele ele elevator action was your jam then this is something you guys definitely definitely want to check out and remember guys how i always say like the nemesis gradius life force salamander games are like among my favorite shoot em ups right so this has like nemesis on there and guys it plays it plays awesome now i have to say again i'm not familiar with this system so sometimes when uh, we've got some horizontal scrolling scrolling it feels it just feels a little bit jerky but that might be how the actual system was i i, I have no idea i'm playing it for the first time you'll see it more in some other games as we kind of go through it but notice in a lot of games the horizontal scrolling just it just feels like it's it's moving in sections rather than looking very very smooth but again i don't know enough about this system i'm definitely enjoying it yeah here you go you can see at the top now if you look at the top and the bottom it feels like it's go pause go pause go pause but again that might be the limitations of the actual system itself but 
even playing Gradius on this, you stop noticing it once you start playing it. It's a fun one. Now, always, I always say, let me know like your experiences with this. Which one of these games did you play? Was this available in your region? Normally, because honestly, growing up, I knew nothing of this. I only found out about the MSX system when I was older. None of my friends had it. Even my friends that were quite niche and had import stuff, no one I knew had this. I'm definitely interested if you're in the UK and you had it. Where did you get it from in the UK? Where did you hear about it? You know, were you in the US, Europe, wherever you had it, let me know down below. But guys, Nemesis is brilliant. I don't know if there's any bad ports or any bad versions of this game because even on, on the MSX it feels good and uh, you know as well as Nemesis, ne Nemesis, as well as Nemesis we've all uh, we've also got Parodius. Yes, <laughs> the, the original parody of like the Nemesis uh, Gradius games etc. It's on here and guys it plays really really well. Like so, uh, I I was playing this. So initially when I got this uh, a few a couple of days ago I, I was tired from work so I took it in handheld mode. Marcus did give me some advice. Uh, with this um, you know just some do's and some don'ts some games actually require a keyboard to start and I did come across a few uh, and I wasn't able to play them you know while just playing about with it in bed now that I'm using it docked any games that do require a keyboard to start sometimes it's a simple case of just pressing the space key it begins and you can start a game now I'm sure as this core matures and develops other changes and other quality of life improvements will come in there but honestly even in the current state it's now I've had a lot of fun with this I'm going to try and get the name right for this. I think it's like Golvilius or something like that. And and like checking this game out, it kind of reminds me of... Uh, so there's a game that I played recently. I really enjoyed it on my PS Vita. It was one of those cross-purchase games. And it was called Splunky. And it was very, very addictive. It was very, very difficult. And it kind of reminded me of like Rick Dangerous as well. And this is like one of those games. You know, you're in, you're in the levels. You've got monsters and whatnot. And you're kind of going through. Definitely reminds me of that. Again, nothing that I've played before. But I thought it was an interesting game to have a look at. My character can't actually turn. I imagine that's in the game, right? He can only face one direction. But, you know, like I, like I say... Uh, whatever you're seeing in this uh, alpha uh, preview is not uh, reflective of what of what the final build uh, may be once it's actually released. And I'm not the biggest like turn-based RPG player out there. I really did like the Dragon Quest game on the original DS, and and, and I've definitely played my share of turn-based games. But stuff like Dragon Quest is on here now. I don't know if there's actual fan translations out of this. I know this is a the, the Dragon Quest series are. Uh, games that are regarded very very highly within the community uh, i'm not gonna I, I kind of went into the game in fact you know what let's let's go into the game and have a look at that and as the game's like japanese text i've got no idea what i'm doing but again like uh, hopefully there's a translation out so when you guys are playing this you can run a fan translation fans are awesome the communities are awesome they always make translations and hopefully you can play one but i know dragon quest uh it's it's an rpg that's as popular uh, maybe maybe not as popular or just as popular uh, as the Final Fantasy games and and it, and and the part one is is on the MSX now I don't know enough whether it's an exclusive uh, MSX game or it was out on the MSX as well as other things like I said not too heavy into them these days and guys remember what I said uh, I'll get nostalgia for this even though I've never played the system it's because of games like this like so Batman right no 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 Batman <laughs> Guys, the graphics reminds me of playing games like on the Spectrum. You know, like where, where like the colours and there wasn't enough there and your imagination was just absolutely mad. Now, this was a game um, I had to kind of play on keyboard. Didn't quite work out the controls, but guys, I absolutely love this. It really, really does take me back. Now, for some of the younger audience here, maybe you're not going to appreciate like appreciate stuff like this, like, uh, like, like myself and some others. But guys, this is Batman. Okay, and here we have a game called Formation Z or Formation Z, depending on where you're from. And again, like an interesting game. This is kind of me picking random games. The title sounded familiar, but when I actually played it, it was something completely different. So, yeah, like I said, I was picking random games in here, and this is Formation Z. Here's a game called Final Justice, right, guys? So, right, you hear a game, it's called Final Justice. You think to yourself, you know what? I need to check this right now. If Without seeing what you're seeing now, if you hear the name Final Justice, what do you think it's going to be, right? I thought it was going to be like a walking along beat em up. Like, I kind of had like Final Fight, or let's go back a little bit, maybe Renegade or Double Dragon or something like that in mind. But no, it's a shmup. Now, guys, everything may not have like the graphics here of like, you know, computers or consoles that came later. But guys, this game has playability like it is very very playable it's very very good controls are tight the movement everything it just feels like a solid shmup 
If you're a kid of the 80s like me, you will remember Ghostbusters. Now, I, I wasn't able to start this game, but I didn't really try too hard. But there's a couple of reasons that I, I wanted to bring this on screen. A, because, hey man, I kind of like, I dig the Ghostbusters theme tune, right? Well, who doesn't, right? And it's like a, bit, a little bit of karaoke there. It's got the lyrics down there. So, you know, if you want to sing along, ding dong, you can. <laughs> and also, who remembers Activision before it was Activision Blizzard, before it was absorbed by Microsoft? I mean, I remember that logo, right? That Activision logo, that definitely takes me back. I, I specifically remember that kind of uh, logo from Decathlon that I used to smash on my Atari 800XL. But yeah man, I ain't afraid of no ghost. And guys, I've always said, if you're a regular on the channel, you know I absolutely love R-Type. I love R-Type 2. I love R-Type Leo. Right. R-Type 1 is the original. And guys, there's, there, there's no bad version of this game. I think someone pointed out like a bad version of R-Type, but I, I'm yet to play it, right? I played this on the Game Boy. I played this on the Spectrum. I played this on the Amiga. I played the arcade versions. I played the PC Engine version, guys. Whatever version, or even most recently, like the Mega Drive version of our type uh, that Robo Z uh, has been working on. That's coming along fantastically well, um, guys. Our type is fantastic, and, it, and it's great on the MSX as well. Like I was saying, like remember when when this is scrolling horizontally, there's like a little bit of a jerk. You more kind of notice it with like the the, the levels than the actual uh, ship that I'm controlling. But either way, guys, like. Our types, our type, man, and this is this is banging. It's it's amazing to get it, and I love like the pod, the way like I've got the upgraded pod there. It just looks so good the way it's rotating and everything, guys. It's it, it's wicked, man. I can't wait for this to go like uh, public. No idea when it's gonna go public, but when it does, guys, you guys are in for so so much fun. Okay, so here we have Green Beret, guys, and this was always a tough game. Uh, I, I played this, I can't remember what I played it on, one of my computers, whether it was Atari, Commodore, or whatever. And guys, this, this is still just as tough, guys, still just as tough. I don't think this is one of the games I'm going to be playing on there, maybe you did when you were growing up, but it's nice to see games on there. There's obviously a lot of Konami games uh, on the MSX, I'm sure there was some kind of special relationship there, uh, uh, relationship there. I'm not exactly sure what it was, I'm sure you guys can uh, kind of educate me in the comments, like I always love that you do. Okay, so here we have Kung Fu Master, guys, right now. I was expecting, you know, the Kung Fu Master, right? The one where you kind of walk along, along the levels. The guys come around and like hug you and I don't know, they just don't want to let go of you. It kind of looks friendly, but somehow they're hurting you. This game's different. Now, I'm not sure if this is based on that game and this is the MSX version or whether like it's a completely different game. I, I have no idea, but this was not the game I was expecting to see. So this is, yeah, Kung Fu Master on the MSX. Completely, completely different game. Unless I'm mistaken or something there, guys. Are, are you getting what I'm getting? Like, do you remember the Kung Fu Master I'm thinking of? Okay, guys, so this is Macross. Now, hopefully my memory serves me correctly, right? I'm, I'm thinking about a game called Macross, and I think it was an NMK system, something that I, I had a look at recently, and we ran the games on there, and this is interesting, right? You can transform between, transform between a robot and a ship, and that's awesome. Uh, your bullets don't have massive, like, hitboxes. You need to be very, very kind of accurate with them, or shoot at the center of the enemy, but nonetheless, a fantastic game, and honestly, guys, like, I'm putting myself back to, you know, like, the early 80s when this was released, you know, in the 80s when this was around seriously this this would have been this would have blown my mind right i mean i loved i loved the computers i had but man i kind of wish i had or i was exposed to this or one of my friends had this because you know when you're young and your friend has a computer you pretty much have that computer right you're hanging around a lot you're not playing online or anything it's all about local play with local people Okay, now, I've got to say, I, I kind of like how this looks, right? So this is Rambo. Look at him getting around with his blade and whatnot, guys. Again, fantastic. I like some of these movies, ones and <laughs> movie games, and guys, that was game over. Uh, again, really, really dig the title screen. Love the kind of artwork. Do you remember, guys, you know, back when we had, like, these... I imagine this is an 8-bit computer, right? But when we had those, like, 8-bit machines, like, these graphics just look so good, man. Like, the drawings they had of your movies. I mean, look at Rambo there. Guys, River Raid, right? So this is... Okay, so remember, this is where I'm getting nostalgia for real now, guys, right? Because I used to play this on the Atari 2600, man. And, and it wasn't my Atari 2600. I used to play it, like, around the relative's house. And, guys, I'm sure this is on there, right? This is one of my earliest memories for gaming, right? One of my earliest... And this was, like, one of my favourite games ever. Like, one of my first... One of my first gaming experiences if not my first like no actually i think my first might have been a binaton something that my dad bought it had like different games on it. it had like a little a little kind of like 
I don't know, a lever on it, you moved it around to change game from Pong to squash the football. It was just different variations of Pong. But guys, this is where like gaming blew me away. When I played this on the Atari 2600, and this is why the MSX is giving me nostalgia. It's, it's reminding me of the type of games I used to play, right? As well as when I saw River Raid on there, even though I'm, I'm sure, guys, let, let, educate me, right? I'm sure. I'm going by memory here. It was in the Atari 2600. I remember this game. The only thing that I kind of recall in my head was I remember your ship being white and maybe the graphics being slightly different in my head because, but remember, if we haven't played a game for a long time, it lives in our head like a lot better. Sometimes when we have a look at it, we're like, oh, I remember this being better. But it's obviously, we're going back in time. This is a fantastic game. It still holds up. It's just brilliant. You attack the ships, you go over the fuel. But the way it's kind of set up, sometimes you end up shooting the fuel. Um, I would definitely say recommend, I recommend playing this game. I know you can play it on other stuff. Play the MSX version. It's brilliant. So I, I stumbled across this game because I misread the title, right? I, I saw, I, saw, I read this as Tetris horror right but instead it's tetra horror and it's got those cubity vibes to it and i'm pretty sure you need to get the letters in the correct order you can't get them in a random order so you need to get the f u e l i done a really bad job of it um but yeah you know it's it's interesting nonetheless and this game here is uh, penguin adventure and i'm digging the soundtrack for this it's it's very upbeat it's it's really really good and the game just looks game looks good i mean guys back then these were like these were top top graphics right you gotta catch yourself some fish right here um now uh, a big thanks to vampire again who was educating me on some of the stuff and he pointed out to me that this is the first game that hideo kojima worked on we, we all know hideo kojima yeah from like well, most famously the metal gear games right the guy the guy the guy has made some awesome games right but the most notable games he's made is is uh the the metal gear series right uh so yeah this is penguin adventure and guys it's 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 a fun type of game right i kind of got to the second level when i was playing it but then i was like i want to do a whole bunch of games so i can't really play too many games i kind of do intend to kind of mess about with it in handheld mode but definitely try out Pe penguin Ad uh, adventure especially uh you know if you're fans of hideo kojima if you're fan of finds a metal gear solid let me know if you find any metal gear stuff in here right <laughs> And guys, you know, I absolutely love Bubble Bobble, man. It's one of the best arcade games out there. And it really does describe the word arcade to me. Now, unfortunately, the MSX version is, is far from the greatest home version out there. As you can, as you can see, it, it, I don't know, it just doesn't feel the greatest. They kind of started off as... Um, Two player, I thought the bottom right was, you know, the arcade where it's like press, press two player to start. It's kind of encouraging a second player to join. It's not that. The second player is in there. Uh, I didn't start it. Now, honestly, like, this isn't, like, the worst game I've played, but it just doesn't. There's better versions of Bubble Bobble to, uh, for us to play. Whether we play the arcade version, which we have got in the unlock pocket, uh, or whether we play something like the Amiga version or one of, like, the console ones. But nonetheless, it's Bubble Bobble, right? I I've got to check it out. If I see Bubble Bobble in a list, I'm trying it out for sure. And before I wanted to end the video, guys, I just thought, let me kind of show you the core in the menu and uh, just kind of have a look at some of the games. There's, there's a lot of games for the system. In fact, I think I think there might be a limit to how many games you can have in a folder for the Unlock Pocket. So um, I um, I kind of need to go in there and put the games in, in like, you know, a, a folder for A, B, but well, alphabetical folders so I can have like all the games on there. So I've kind of dumped them in one folder. That's something that I'll do. Remember, I will be doing a live stream, guys, uh, going through this stuff. So if you've got any requests, you can get those through and this is just the core options that you've got you've got different mappers in there the mappers that kind of some mappers work for better games you've got a specific one for our type that lets our type work boogerman has done a great job on this so far excellent quality of life stuff just excellent stuff all around and as you can see guys there's a whole bunch of games i'm going through them quickly by moving either left or right on the analog pocket so it really does flick through them but guys there's a lot of games like you'll get busy and this is a great system to check out i probably haven't gone and looked at the best games on there i'm sure i've looked at some of them but there's probably a lot more and uh, definitely definitely like you know if you're if you're watching this video as soon as it comes out there'll be a live stream soon if you're watching it like way after it's released or a week after it's re released there'll be a live stream going through stuff uh live as well so just wanted to show you guys like you know the options the menu and a bunch of games that we've got guys Okay, uh, let's kind of wrap this up. We're going to have a look at the final game. And uh, guys, I wanted to have a look at the Goonies. Hey, you guys. <laughs> one of my favorite films, one of my favorite movies growing up, guys. I absolutely love this, right? Who didn't love the Goonies? You know, Indiana Jones. There was a whole bunch of movies we watched as kids. But uh, guys, the Goonies was one of those games I watched again. Uh, sorry, one of those movies I watched again and again and again, guys. It was just 
but it was just fantastic it was it was it was everything man uh, in fact i should really go and watch it again and guys this game it just reminds the first time i'm playing this right in this video it, it just reminds me of those times simple games you didn't have you know controversial stuff in there the games were just fun you didn't need a lot in there and you know being like a goonies fan i would have loved to have played this at the time my imagination as a kid i would have been exploring those caverns going those adventures as those kids and maybe you know if, if i had a friend that i had an msx and they're a little bit chubby i may have discriminated against them and said if you want to go on my uh, msx and you want to play yourself some goonies i need to see that truffle shuffle <laughs> uh, but guys that's really it for this video honestly i can't thank thank uh, boogerman uh, enough he's absolutely awesome the work he does is absolutely awesome he's one of the best developers on the scene and uh like i said at the beginning guys if he does have a kofi or a kofi or a patreon set up then i'll leave uh, a link to that in the description if it's not there straight away and it gets uh, he does it, there is one later i'll make sure that i put that in there because honestly the guy's awesome since i've been in the fpga gaming space he's been one of the kindest most helpful people out there uh you know he's educated me in uh, in many many things so big shout out to him and absolutely awesome uh but that's it guys definitely tune into the live stream it will be fun uh, i really do like the live streams we talk we look at games and we'll go through a whole bunch of like msx games honestly the stream will likely be I don't know two to three hours and we're not going to be able to get through all the games but you know especially anyone with msx experience if you've got msx experience and you had this machine then come on the stream and just point a few games out to me man that we can check out uh, but anyway guys that's it for this video i really do hope you enjoyed it take care of one another be good to one another guys this is pixel cherry ninja out